Hey what's guys pro here welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video I know it has been a very very long time since the last one almost 10 months since now but either way we're back and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a look at the brand new balance changes inside of Flash Royale they actually came out a few days ago there's one we're going to be looking at in particular it's the Eagle so as you can see right here his attack speed got buffed by 15% so he attacks 15% faster compared to the last update and it is actually very very good so i've done some 2v2s with my friends yesterday and we did win pretty much every single game we went into and i'm going to try and do the same again today but on ladder this time so if you are new to the channel feel free to subscribe and if you go on to enjoy this video as well feel free to drop a like rating and a comment both of which are greatly appreciated let's go ahead and jump into a game all right guys here we go game number one we're against this guy he is the third of his name so let's see what we can do maybe if i beat the third i can like face the second or something i'm not really too sure but either way we do have the healer in hand we do have the elixir golem in hand and we do have the electro dragon right away as well so i've got everything i need this one should hopefully be okay it depends what he has because if he's got like mega knight and pekka it's probably going to not be so good so i'm going to go with this and then i'm going to go with this and there we go. So we've got the push going in. We'll save up for arrows now. The reason I didn't go with the E-Dragon is... Ooh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Actually, never mind. That's really good. Okay, we've won already. I forgot the Elixir Golem like, splits into different forms. And there we go. So he had to use a rocket on defense. Not really the play he needed to make right there. But he had to do it. Otherwise, he would have lost his tower. E-Barbs are going in on the left. We're just going to hover arrows just in case he has like skeleton army or anything the pecker on the right should go down we do in fact see the mega knight there he is and now this one is looking very good already so as you can see from two attacks we've pretty much took out like two-thirds of the tower or even 75 percent of it sorry and now what we'll do is we'll allow the healer to trade with the mega knight this will allow us to build up elixir as soon as we have enough elixir we're just going to go e golem at the bridge and we're going to actually go the e dragon as well so this one's looking really good. We'll go ahead and go in with the Rage just to try and get the E-Golem to the tower quicker. We actually are splashing the tower as well. The Heal Spirit is going to manage to get like onto the healer if that makes sense. And there we go. It looks like it's Gold Rush as well. So I'll take the additional gold. Not that I really need it, but it's there to get anyway. So we're going to go in with e barbs right now. This one's already over, guys. It's just over. May as well just get the screenshot right there. I don't know why. I always have done and I always will do. But I'll just always take the screenshot in the video. I know I can do it afterwards, but I just enjoy it in the moment. But anyway, game one successful. Let's jump into game number two. All right, guys, here we go. Game number two right now. This guy does have the fireball badge. Let's see what we can do against him. If he does have fireball, it's not really the best of counters to my deck, to be honest. But I guess it does something. It depends what else he's got, really. But everything's quite situational in this game anyway. So what we'll do is we'll ignore the Goblin Barrel. I'm just going to go all in right now. We'll go in with the Healer. We'll go in with the E-Giant. E-Golem. Apparently, I'm in a different game using E-Giant. Not really sure. But either way, we've got the Rage going down. This should be tower number one right here. I know I'm quite overleveled because I'm very low in trophies. But either way, the same result is... The result's the same either way. So just just gonna say it the results exactly the same so this guy's quite angry we're just gonna hit him with the night chair because it's funny his magic arch is going to get eliminated right here he does actually have the skeleton army and that my friends is game number two here we go game number three we're against turkish delight he's actually king tower 13 i've not even looked at anyone else's king towers i might have not even noticed they could have been like king tower 10 or something i have no idea well i don't think i can even face people that low anymore but you know what i meant so E Inferno Dragon's down. We've got the healer at the back. He is going to rocket spell the healer, which is rather interesting because, I mean, it doesn't go down. It doesn't get eliminated from it. But anyway, we've got everything we need. The healer is still alive. So what we can do is we'll just rage because I don't really think he's got a lot. The healer is going to get to the arena tower. He lost the game when he rocket spelled, to be honest. But all we'll do is keep the push going. He does have two bats. He's going to say well played. We'll just hit him with a 10. And that, my friends, is game number three. Perfect. All right, guys, here we go. Game number four right now. We are against this individual right here. He does have balloon badges, so it might be a little bit more challenging because the balloon is a card I tend to lose to quite often if I don't expect it. But either way, we should hopefully be okay. So the E spirit is down. I keep calling them the wrong cards. I have no idea why. Even like when I'm still playing it, I just think of the wrong cards. But anyway, we'll go with the Inferno Dragon right here. That should be okay. And then, do you know what we're going to do? I've got a feeling this guy's going to have Mega Knight. I don't know why. Mega Knight Balloon just seems 
like he might have it. So he does have Minion Horde and Skarmy. We'll try and get the arrows down as quickly as possible. And there we go. That should be the game. So we just managed to take everything out. I could have defended his Goblin Barrel with the Heal Spirit. But I just didn't really see the point to be honest. And now we did take some damage from it. But not really too much. I'm just going to Rage the E-Dragon. Inferno Dragon sorry. And we're just going to go with another Elixir Golem. And that should hopefully be the game. There's no way he should be able to defend this. Or well, maybe. Okay he will actually. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm kind of trolling at the moment. But he does have Minion Horde. He does have Skarmy. And now with the Minion Horde, we do need to be careful because I don't want to lose to a Skarmy. So I think what I'm going to do is... Ooh, this is really bad, actually. Okay, it's not. It's really easy. So he's going to do Nail Bites and Emotes. So we'll just go with the arrows. And he's got Mirror. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. It's not really what I expected. But that's why I said it at the start because I didn't expect this. <laughs> if I'm going to lose to any card, it will be Balloon. So... We managed to take it out. I'm not going to go E-Golem because he does have Skarmy. And that would just defeat the purpose of the E-Golem. We did get, manage to get some like King Tower damage. We got about two to 300 by the look of it. So I guess it's okay for what it was. We're going to ignore the Baby Dragon. And I just need to think about the Skarmy. How can I eliminate the Skarmy? Well, the way to do it is with Arrows. But I need Arrows for the Minion Horde. So he's going to go blue uh, with the rocket spell sorry he does that oh okay In interesting he thinks he's really good so we'll just go over here we'll go over here he's doing tiny muscle emotes all we'll do is we'll hit him with the prediction right here nice scar me buddy hit him with a 10 and that my friends is going to be the game he has mirror but it shouldn't really do too much okay maybe it will actually Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> so, we'll hit with the Magic Archery mode. We ended up winning. I know I had a bit of a card level advantage, I'm sure. But he did decide to do some emotes. So, there we go. We ended up winning. Let's jump into another game. So, we have actually unlocked the Tower Skin on the Gold Pass. So, we'll just go ahead and claim it. I'm going to put it on as well because why not? Let me just try and find where it is. Where is it? It's right at the bottom. There we go. Make sure I've got no other ones selected. So there we go. That's the tower skin. Let's use it. See what it looks like. And let's jump into another game after we open these chests. So the gold pass. I don't even know why I get it to be honest. I get it probably for like the emote. But I don't even really need the emotes because I've already got so many of them. But either way, let's jump into a game. Alright guys, here we go. So we're against this guy right here. Let's see what we can do. I do need to win. I really do need to win. So we'll get the E-Golem down. No, maybe not actually. He might have Hog Rider or something. Actually, we'll just go with it. What's going to happen? So he does actually use the Flying Machine. I really dislike facing this card. It's really annoying to face in my opinion. But since he's already used it, that does make it really good for me. Because then I don't have to deal with it. So he does have Zappies. Really interesting so far. He has E-Golem as well. Interesting. So I'm not really sure what we're facing. I've not really looked at TV Royal, so I'm not... Oh my word, okay. I highly doubt this is a TV Royal deck anyway, to be honest. But we'll see. Time will tell. What I'm going to do is... I know it seems crazy, but we're just going to go like this. And he's got the Skarmy. Like, I'm so bored of facing Skarmy every game. It's just quite boring, to be honest. So, I, I'm going to lose. I'm actually going to lose to Wizard, E-Golem, Skarmy. Yep, that's it. I've lost. I know. I mean, I shouldn't have gone with the other one, but there's just no... I need Fireball or something. I can't eliminate any of these cards. There's just nothing I can do, so... I don't know. Kind of an L, but whatever. You win some, you lose some. But, come on. Oh, my word. The wizard survived. Oh, my word. And he's got a second wizard. Okay, that's it. Yeah, nothing I can really do right there. But, oh well, you win some, you lose some. Shows we're all human. But that's more than likely going to be the end of the video. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.